All right, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. My name is Sir Riot. Today we have the windows are gone. And this is what it says. Haunted by grief and guilt after a tragic accident, you start seeing a house in your dreams. No matter what you do, you can't get this image out of your mind. You feel it calling for you, so you answer it. And without further ado, let's get into it. In my dreams, I see this house. I like the music. I feel it calling for me. This house in Mariana. Hope I said that right. So I answered it. Look at this cinematic entrance. No, I love me a good cinematic entrance. Even with bad graphics. I love the bad graphics. I don't know why. Windows are gone. I'll probably cut that out. <laughs> Click or F to continue. Hi, honey. How are you holding up? Touch a click. Yeah. You know, take it one day at a time. How was the funeral? I wish I could have been there for you. I didn't go. Couldn't do it. I understand. She should have understood too. She would have understood too. You know that, right? Right. And what about your new house? It's in Mariana, right? Quite a long way from home. Yeah, I'm on my way there right now, actually. I'll text you once I get there. Alright, be careful on the road. Love you. Not gonna say love you too? Oh, sh Oh. That's so sensitive. Can you change it on my mouse? Press tab to pick up your phone. I gotta change the settings real quick. This is... That's sensitive. 25? That's still... Eh, that's not bad. There, I changed it on my mouse. Alright, press tab to pick up your phone. From mom to you. Alright, be careful. On the road. Love you. Reply with F. Hey, I just arrived at the house. I'll move the boxes inside and we'll text you later. Q. E. Okay, so you kind of scroll through it. Thanks for letting me know. Careful not to get... Not to hurt your back with the boxes. Man, I know how that goes. All too well, actually. 10 years of back problems that led to a back surgery. So here I am. <laughs> Press M to pick up the map of the house. Alright, front door, living room, downstairs bedroom, downstairs office, downstairs bathroom, kitchen, upstairs. Alright, not a bad layout. box has upstairs master bedroom written on it. Living room. Upstairs guest room. Uh, okay. Wait. Can I only take one at a time? Come on. I've got to take more than one, right? Alright. Okay. 
It's always a good sign. Wait. Where'd it go? It's back in the truck. Can I unlock the house first and then? Let's take a look. Not bad, not bad. Ooh, nice size kitchen. All right. Can I go through all of these? Eh, just about. I'm assuming there's gonna be nothing in these. It's probably just for storage. Oh, I got a backyard. Odd fence for a backyard, but I'll take it. Oh, it goes all the way. Man, this is a big ass fence. But that costs a pretty penny. Alright. Alright, let's try to move these boxes. Alright, which one did this have? Upstairs master bedroom. Damn, this is a huge bedroom. Oh, I thought this was like a fireplace. That would have been cool. Right, it's not as big as I thought, but it's still big. Alright, grab our box. Check out this hallway. Spare bedroom? I gotta check all the cabinets. You never know. Could be something. Yeah, I hear that creaking. That's the second time I've heard it. I think we can uh, interact with all that. What's this? A VHS tape labeled Tape 1, My Family. I could probably take this to a VHS player and play it. Do we have one? Ooh, we do. Working VHS player. Leave that on for a second, just to see what happens. Let's grab another box. This is a big fenced in yard. What do we keep What are we keeping out? Upstairs guest bedroom. I feel like I keep hearing stuff. Oh yeah, there's a basement too, isn't there? This room is locked for some reason. I wonder if the key is somewhere around the house. Nice office. No key in there. yet. That's why we always gotta check. Is that the basement or is this the basement? This is the basement. Basement door is locked. I wonder if the key is somewhere around the house. So there's a couple keys we gotta find. Check every drawer. I'm gonna check these, alright? No key in there. Where are these keys gonna come from? 
feel like I've looked everywhere. Give another box. Do I have to do all of these boxes? Oh my god. Uh, living room. Nice little music. Ooh, mailbox. I think there's a key in there. Turn that off for now. Nope. Downstairs office. This is where they get you. Everything's calm and relaxing. Should be moving hopefully by the end of this week. So where we're moving is uh 55 acres. And it was a little bit more land than we were expecting to get, but it would have been kind of dumb to pass up. Wait, there's already a box in here. Let's just guess. Oh, bathroom. Is it this way? But it was more land than we were uh, planning on getting, but it would have been kind of dumb to pass up. So we got a modular home to put on the land for the time being. And we finally got the well dug, finally got the septic tied in, I got the internet going. I just gotta wait for it because it's like this little box. And it'll be like a, a hotspot Wi-Fi kind of deal. So whenever it gets here, I'm gonna go test the internet out. Or, uh, test the internet out there and if it's good enough then we should be good to move in because there is there is there's no internet out there not yet upstairs master bathroom so, yeah been uh busy to say the, the least it's nuts the bathroom right yeah We have a guest already? How'd you get past the fence? Huh? Huh? Alright. Let's see what she wants. Keep your distance. Crazy lady. Hello there. You must be our new neighbor. Yes, I am. I su yes, I am. I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? Oh, I'm supposed to choose. We'll go with, I suppose I am. Do you live nearby? Because really, we don't know where you came from. Hey, look at those socks. Why are you wearing socks like that? I do, yes. A couple of kilometers that way. She points to her right hand side. So our left. My husband and I, she pauses for a few seconds. I live there. Welcome, welcome. Mariana is a wonderful town. Lovely people. Can you tell me more about it? You look familiar. Do I know you? Can I help you with anything, ma'am? That'd be my answer. Well, I couldn't help but notice that the house has been purchased and that the new owner would be here today, so I baked you something special as a welcoming gift. Oh, thank you. It's very kind of you. You didn't have to. You got here pretty quickly, huh? Do we go with the little more aggressive, or do we just, like, try and get her out of here? Yeah, it will be nice for now. Oh, thank you. I think you're gonna love it. I left it on your kitchen counter. What? Wait, excuse me? 
Oh, don't worry, my dear. I know this house inside and out. You know this house? This house has a lot of history. It's a very unique one. In a way, I think you know it too. Every corner and every shadow seems familiar to you, doesn't it? In any case, you'll get familiar with it soon enough. Alright then. Now, do me a favor, my dear, and try some of that pastry I made for you, will you? I'm sure you'll love it. Okay, just please stay here this time, alright? She nods and smiles. Alright, we're not opening that back up. Anyway. No, I'm just kidding. So we're going to start leaving doors open, I think. I ain't eating this. A plate of gr crystalli, crystalli made by the neighbor. I'm not sure if I should eat this, but the smell is irresistible. Yeah, I'm not eating that. Can I, like, hide it? Apparently she got in the house. Mmm, that was scrumptious. Make sure you try some of that pastry, will you? No, I'm not eating that. Go away. I just want to get my boxes. Do I really got to eat this? It just seems weird. None of these open, right? I don't, I don't want to eat it. Uh, it's poisoned. We're dead. Oh, you bitch. Read note. This note says, Welcome home. I sure it came from the lady, but where did she go? Is there like an entrance to the basement? I just unloaded the boxes in my new house. I couldn't help but be reminded of the toll the trip to Mariana had taken on me. That combined with this old encounter with the this odd encounter with the neighbor made me realize I was exhausted. Decided it'd be wise to take a quick nap in the master bedroom. Besides, I was curious to test the comfort of my new bed. What? No. Get the boxes done. There's four more. Box has upstairs main hallway written on it. Man, we can't take it. I do want to check the front. Just real quick. Just take a look around, you know? It's our property. Oh, no wonder she got it. She crawled. Alright. Guess we're gonna go take a nap. I like that tree. I changed my mind. I'm gonna shut all the doors. Since they creak, I'll be able to hear it. That's kind of creepy. She just walked in. It's weird. Is there anything in here? I didn't really inspect this one. There's nothing. Ooh, did we check these? Can I put the box in here? Oh, I can't even pick it up. In the shower? I truly don't remember if I checked all these, so. I feel like she's gonna be the one that drops the keys off. Which is gonna be weird. Not sure I'll get used to this bed. It'll have to do for now. You didn't bring your own bed? Alright. Not gonna move the box? Yeah, just scoot it to the side. Alright. This time, I didn't dream about this house. It's because you're in it. Probably because I was finally here. <coughs> No. 
This time, I had a different dream. Oh, you mean a nut? Nightmare? Look at life. My wife and I were in a hurry to get to the hospital. She was clearly in a lot of pain. I find myself in my car, quickly driving my wife to the hospital since her water had just broken. Oh shit. Are you gonna be okay? Yes, yeah, just avoid any bumps, please. She gives off a nervous laugh. <laughs> Have you called your mother? Ah, uh, no, I forgot. Can you call her once we get there, please? Yeah, of course. Thank you, and please remember the highway is blocked. Now please hurry. I will. Hold on tight. Oh my god, what's going on? Jessica? What's... Oh god. Oh god, get out! Just get out! <laughs> She died giving birth. You know, it started off nice, this game. A little moving in simulator. This could be a nightmare. God, what a horrible nightmare. That dripping noise. I wonder if I was asleep. Where's it coming from? Oh wait, I never noticed this desk here. No keys. No keys. No keys. I feel like we've checked everywhere. She's gotta be the one that brings the uh the keys over. Any doors open? No. I feel like I just jumped down the stairs. Coming from the basement. It's open. Why is it open? Cleared it. There's another VHS here. Tape 2, The Accident. I could take this to the VHS, there. Uh, VHS player and play it. I mean, I could, but you're not letting me. Just lets me inspect it. Oh great, there's a leak in the ceiling. I guess that's what I gotta get. That's what I get for buying an old house. Hmm, I get a weird feeling about this though. I can't quite explain it. Maybe it's the consist constant noise. Maybe it's the water itself. I don't know. I just can't shake this old feeling I have when thinking about it. But I'll see to it tomorrow. I just can't be bothered right now. Gotta go back to bed. No, you gotta finish unpacking. Get the rest of the boxes, man. And pick the tapes up. <laughs> this dude's doing it all wrong. I'm like freaked out she's gonna be in the house somewhere. Still locked. Open up. Wrong way. Yeah, I want to get the boxes. Are we really just going to call it a day? You got four boxes left, man. Is that the tree making noise in the wind? Yeah. I kept hearing it earlier, so I wanted to, <laughs> wanted to make sure. I, I gotta check the other rooms. Alright. That's a creepy, creepy noise. Creepy creak. Not sure I'll get used to this, but yeah, we already said that. Well, 
lying back down. You taking a nap or you actually going to sleep though? What are we doing here, bud? Still light out. God, please don't be standing there. I'm already on edge. It's our phone. Thanks for letting me know. From dad to you. Good morning, son. Your mom told me you arrived in Mariana yesterday. How's it going? Hey, dad. Well, you know. I know. I'm sorry. And how's the new house? Is it all you were hoping for? It's okay. I was bringing the boxes inside yesterday and got tired. I'll get back to doing that right now. Oh, so this is the next day. Okay. Waiting for that weird lady to come back. Ooh, we can grab this. As the tape starts playing, I see a middle-aged man handling the camera. I quickly realize that the man is in this ha in this same house that I'm in. He's all smiles as he moves away from the camera and joins his family, as they can be seen playing around in the background. I wonder if they're the previous owners of this house. His wife and children seem to be having a great time, laughing and running around. There's a moment where the wife comes up behind the ha husband and puts her arms around him. They both smile and briefly look at the camera. It's nice, really. I can't help but feel like there's something off, though. It's like there's an underlying tension, a sense of unease that's hard to describe. Maybe it's just me, but I get this feeling that things aren't as perfect as they seem on the surface. It feels like the happiness portrayed here is a deceptive lure tempting me to bite it and overwhelm me with its actual intentions. It's written on the man's face. It's just like he's trying to hide something behind his smile. The tape ends when one of the kids trips and falls to the crown. While the mother tends to the crying boy, the father's sinuous. The father's, I just, I'm going to butcher that word. The father's smile finally fades away as he approaches the camera to turn it off. Once he's right in front of the frame, though, I get an eerie feeling of intrusiveness, as if he caught me prying on his personal life. The tape ends. It's a strange feeling watching these recordings of someone else's life. I can't help but wonder what happened to them. Where are they now? Did they move away a long time ago? Are they still together? It's like I'm peeking into a world that's not mine, a world that's both familiar and foreign at the same time. Mute dad. And that. Everything good? Yes, mom. Y'all yeah, good. Found this weird VHS tape. I think it's from the old owners of this house. Let's get the second one. Make sure nobody's down here. Ooh, that's growing. That's not good. Did you watch it? What's in it? I was expecting you to lecture me not to do that, but yes, I did. Saw some weird stuff. Hmm, suck. No, all right. Can I set it down for a second? Damn it! I put it back downstairs. I think. Oh, really? That's all you had to say. Pop her in so I can fumble a reading again. The tape shows that man, who I assumed was the, was the previous owner of this house, working in the basement with the camera sitting on a counter and pointing at him. He seems to be alone in the house, although I can just about hear his children playing in the background. Tape is slightly damaged, but I can make out most of what's happening. For a few seconds, he just stays there in silence, as if anxiously rehearsing his first words to the camera. 
That's, that's the stage I'm in right now. When he finally starts speaking, I'm suddenly caught by a sense of uneasiness, and I shiver slightly. Man also seems uneasy and disturbed. His words, measured and hesitant, give off a sense that he's trying to describe a feeling that he cannot fully comprehend, but that has taken over him. He speaks of a sense of impending disaster, of a terrible event that he thinks is about to occur to his family. He is less and less coherent until he's taken by his own emotions and accidentally drops the tool he was using on the ground. He starts crying, carefully covering his mouth so that no one notices him. He mentions the terrible event will be his fall. Ugh. Watching him, I can't help but feel that his words are just directed at me somehow. It's as if he knows that I'm here watching this and is trying to communicate with me. Oh, there's her creaking. The way he talks about the events is as if they had already happened, but then why is he doing this? Why isn't he doing anything to prevent it from happening? And what's the point of these tapes? I heard creaking. Alright, is, is she gonna be at the door? Okay, no. Put this. Pick this up, man. Put it on the counter. Can I grab more boxes? Upstairs main hallway. So wait, is this morning or evening? It's gotta be morning, right? It feels like evening to me. Can't close the door. I'm gonna set you right there. I gotta read what it says. Downstairs bathroom. I'm really liking the music. Wait, where's that? It's over here, right? this one here. Upstairs storage. I was going to try and set the old box, or the last box on the, uh, the butt cleaner. <laughs> Dubai? 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 Is that what I see? Upstairs storage. On the shelf. Very cool. All right, last box. Only took two days to get like what eight boxes. Kitchen. Oh god, she can be in the kitchen. She was in here once already. Hey, there's another tape. Can I set this? I was bringing in the boxes, I couldn't help but repeatedly ask myself what I was actually doing here. I acted on impulse when I bought this house, but the vivid and recurrent dreams I had after the accident plagued my mind and kept haunting me until I finally gave in. It's like I didn't have a choice. Maybe it's the desperation to start fresh or the need to escape the memories of what dreadful of that dreadful night, but here I was, in this unfamiliar place with no one but myself. For a moment I questioned my sanity. So I took a deep breath letting the musty smell of the old house fill my lungs and with a sense of determination I whispered to myself I'm here now and I have to make the most of it still I felt like I needed to turn this into my new home so I set out to unpack all the boxes and decorate the place HS tape labeled 3 rumble yeah that wasn't there yesterday you can now open the boxes, decorate the house to your liking. Ooh. 
Put that there. The toaster can go right here. Oh, I can't put this on the stove. Hmm. Underneath in a cabinet now. This thing's huge. What? It's a weird spot for a calendar. I, I, I dig it. Fruit bowl. Come on the table there. Glass bowls. Yeah. Random, but I'll take it. in here. What was that? Check our phone. From brother-in-law to you. Hey man, how are you doing? Hey, a bit overwhelmed, honestly. Can I leave this open? Probably. Actually, let's take a look at that. Spill. He's just gotten a bit worse overnight. I'll definitely have to call someone to see this later. Man, this constant noise will make me go insane. Well, that's everything for that box. See if the neighbor's here? No? Okay. Brother-in-law. Yeah, same here. She was an incredible person. My sister loved you, man. I know. And she hated you. Hated your guts. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I know. But honestly, it wasn't your fault, man. Remember that. Right. Not now, crazy neighbor. Aw, give me no choice. The fuck? Whoa. What? What was that? What was that thing in the air? Take care. Yeah, you too. Well, I give me chills. Nothing in there. What was that thing? TV turned itself on and I can just about make out a sound or the static. Is that somebody crying? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What door was that? Is that upstairs? Is that this door? I thought I I thought I was closing all the doors. I'm not doing a good job at closing the doors. We're gonna we're gonna stay in here for a second. Let's unpack. Fold the clothes. What the fuck? Just normal old house noises, right? Right? I'd be on this side. I'm always on the side closest to the door. Although, it doesn't really matter, but that's more of a... More of a straight shot. Painting. Another painting. Really ties in the room, you know? Alright, that's everything with that. Not really enjoying the music now. <laughs> it's kind of putting me on edge. Insurance? Brick. <laughs> this is Franco from your auto insurance. I must inform you that your car has been declared a total loss. Hello. All right, what now? I am busy, sir. We're currently investigating the details of the accident to determine the liability of the parties involved. Let me know when we have an update. I guess I could... What was that noise? I think it came from the basement. Yeah, I think so too. I'm not done unpacking. Sculpture. 
This can kind of wait. Let me know when you have an update. By the way, sorry for your loss. Random number. Who is this? I don't want to go in the basement. Oh, we have a third tape to watch, right? <sighs> the door's gone. Wait a second. The windows are gone. We have windows here, right? Let's grab this. The tape starts playing. The scene before me is disorientating and extremely unsettling. The man from the previous tape stands in a place impossible to identify. He appears to hover in darkness, surrounded by countless long red streaks that stretch as far as the eye can see, like veins that mysteriously emerge from above and just as inexplicably disappeared beneath them. Oddly enough, I can feel them pulsating behind the TV and onto my chest. Suffocating me with the same feeling the man appears to be experiencing. In the crushing darkness, I inexplicably feel the man's desire or despair, guilt, and regret. Yet I cannot bring myself to stop the tape and I keep watching it. The camera shakes and glitches, and at times it seems to be part of the man's body somehow. His demeanor terrifies me, his words are fragmented, barely forming coherent sentences. In the brief moments that I see his face, there's a deep ache in his eyes, as if he carries an overwhelmingly burden upon his shoulders. He stammers, feeling of feelings of regret and calls for his family, but he's all alone in that place. I feel that his family is no longer reachable, and he blames himself for it. It's a haunting sight, and I can feel his pain seeping through the screen, echoing within my own being as if we somehow shared consciousness. <laughs> In the midst of his own turmoil, his mouth opens wide, ready to unleash his agonies, but before he can do so, the tape abruptly ends. I feel broken by the intensity of what I've just witnessed and almost feel ashamed to look at my own reflection on the screen, and yet, I still feel like there was this was needed somehow. I mean, we can still go outside. Did that number change? I don't think it did. Why are the windows gone? I have to go in the basement? I really don't want to. <gasps> it's open, and there's a box. I certainly didn't bring this box in with me. I have no idea where it came from, or where, how it got here. Open. Baby clothes. Oh my goodness. Painting, painting, painting. Eternity photo album. I'm just gonna put this back outside. <gasps> no, I can't. The door's gone. <laughs> Shit. What's that? Whoa, 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 whoa. Nope. Nope. I don't want to. Let's check the office first. Am I supposed to, like, take this stuff out? Oh, I can't. I'm gonna close these doors again. I made that glitch a little bit. Oh god, alright, let's go down. Shit. No, no, no. Keep that open. Ew. What the hell is this? Oh god, what happened here? This is terrible. The leak is quickly deteriorating the ceiling. I feel like I have to do something or it will collapse soon. But, I really look at this thing. It's making me lightheaded and nauseous. It's frustrating though. I know I need to take care of it, but I feel so repulsed that all I can do is ignore it. God, I hate looking at it. Is it alive? <laughs> I 
Who was tap? Somebody was tapping on the window. What the fuck is that? What is that? No. No. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Let me out. No. No. No, oh, God. Where the hell are we? I saw something when I opened the front door. Oh. Oh. Hold up there, bud. Oh, wait, is that Jessica? Oh, she can, like, twist her head around. Get me out. Get me out. Get, uh, ew, 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 ew. Oh, what the f oh, everything's upside down. Who is this? It was your fault. No, it wasn't. I'm not even gonna reply. This is trippy. Everything's upside down. Oh, there's no stairs. I can't go upstairs. Anything with a TV? No. Alright, let's reply. What? Such a disappointment. Why are you saying this? Basement. There's a fake basement. Oh! What the fuck? Nope. Uh, dude. I don't know what to expect with this game, and this, uh, this was not it. this place inspect this painting seems to have painted have been painted by Jessica I've never seen this before oh I didn't like that noise no 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 I, I gotta inspect more though fuck Whoa. nope Painting seem to have been painted by Jessica, but I've never seen this before. Okay. So that's, that's all of them? Okay. 
Okay, okay, okay. Let's check this side. There's another door here. Where's this door go? Basement? Nope. Am I supposed to just like keep going in? Wait, where am I? I'm so turned around now. Okay, so here's this. Ooh. I don't know who you are or what you are. Oh my gosh. That's creepy. Take four birth. I could barely take this to the VHS. I could probably. Oh. Do we inspect this again? <clears throat> I can't fathom what I'm seeing. There's an extremely repulsive slime forming from the leak in the ceiling. It gives off a horrible stench that makes me nauseous, lightheaded, and dis disoriented. Disoriented. It looks alive. Sounds like it too, man. Shit. Do I take the tape? I kind of want to... Oh my god, I don't know what to do. I really don't want to go near you. <laughs> uh, I got too close. I got... Uh, 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 mm -mm. Where's the VHS player? Fuck. You're just gonna sit there? Oh god. As the tape starts playing, I find myself instantly immersed in a nightmarish, distorted reflection of the man's tortured psyche. The scene is a collection of fragment, fragmented images, disjointed sounds and memories, and deeply unsettling feelings somehow emerged and played all at once. It's a, it's an incoherent mess. I can barely make out what I'm seeing. It frightens me to my core, and at the same time, it's sort of beautiful and makes sense to me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> the man's face and body are completely distorted, beyond recognition. If I ever know who he was, if I ever knew who he was before, I can no longer and never will again. But at this moment, I feel an overwhelmingly surge of empathy for him. As his pain reverberated within my own body, the tape becomes a conduit, conduit of his suffering and mere reflection, reflecting my own battle along with his. The fragments of his voice, reaching my ears like shards of broken glass, speak of a foreshadowed ca catastrophe that has shattered his world, just like mine. I'm just waiting for that thing to pounce. In the midst of the chaos, there is a moment of eerie stillness. The man's eyes meet mine through the flickering and glitching screen. A fleeting recognition that sends a chill down my spine. He's now fully aware of my presence, and his torment reaches beyond the confines of the tape. And then, in a crescendo of madness and despair, I have no idea what that means. I don't have a good vocabulary, apparently. <laughs> the tape abruptly cuts off. The abrupt ending leaves me gasping for breath, my heart pounding in my chest. The darkness lingers, echoing with un unanswered questions and haunting whispers. It's haunting and inviting all at once. I'm left grappling with the fragments of his shattered existence, piecing together the shards of his unraveling mind. This man is gone forever now. The tape has become a portal into the darkness, darkest recesses of our consciousness, forcing us to confront the demons that lurk within. These creepy little shit. Oh, you keep looking too. God, oh my god. Wait, do I go this way? Right? That little, that sound. That's creepy. You growing? I can't fathom what I'm seeing. It's extremely impulsive slime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do I get a f flashlight? Man, this is a very unsettling game. 
There's less and less each door I go through. Uh. Let's go upstairs. Oh wait, we can't, right? No, there's no... Sprint! There's somebody there. Ah, dude, that sound. That, like, flickering voice. Mm. She seems to be distracted by something right in front of her. Honey? Did you see the latest paintings I made? Each took an eternity to finish, but I think they turned out perfect. I did. Why did you make them? That kind of implies that I did, so let's go with this one. I don't really know. I just had to. I felt... I was thinking of you and our baby, Laura, you know? That's why they look so wonderful. Jessica. Do you remember that question I asked you? What does God look like? Yes, what does God look like? Ugh, God. It's funny that you were never religious, but you always tried to help me understand why we could never truly see him. And I really appreciate that, you know? I am so sorry for what happened. It was all my fault. I really miss you. Oh, man. I'm not going to blame us, because I don't think it was us. At least with the information we got, it doesn't... That's not pointing in that direction. That, it would be this for me. I really miss you. But I see him now. She smiles. I see him, and he's beautiful. Do you see him too? Sorry, but I don't. I think... Ah, uh, man. Would I just say yes just to try and keep things going? Let's go with sorry, but I don't. Ah, uh, pity. I wish you could see him too. So powerful and astounding and devastating. Or devastating. Yeah, I said that right. <laughs> I'm a little on edge. I feel like tearing my face off, but in the most wonderful way. What? <laughs> I'm trying to forgive myself. I don't know if I can let you go. I'm trying to forgive myself. Oh, don't worry about me anymore. We have our baby to care for now, silly. You hear that? She's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. Oh, man. You hear that? Our baby's crying, the poor thing. I should go check on our little girl. She's probably hungry. Where's the baby? The down is the thing downstairs supposed to be like the baby? Oh! Yeah, it's, this is the same thing. Look at you, honey. See? Told your father you're hungry, aren't you? Don't worry, Laura. Mommy will feed you. Oh, hello, darling. You've been away for a while. We've barely seen you recently. Come to think of it. Where have you been? Don't you miss us? It's so lonely and empty here, and Laura doesn't stop crying for her dad. Of course I miss you. Honey, I think it's time I let you go. I let yeah. <sighs> I don't like making these. Don't you miss me? Of course I miss you. And I have a wonderful idea. Why don't you join us? Oh. Laura misses you so much. She's so hungry all the time. I really want to satiate her hunger. Man, I need to work on my vocabulary. I can't see her suffering like this. I can't join you. I'm so sorry. I see. Oh, she's so hungry. Look at her. I'll go ahead and feed her now, then. She you can't join us. She really needs her daddy. Oh, it's her. Oh, 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 what are you doing? 
The store is locked. Let family go. Is that the end? I was kind of panicking. <laughs> so we probably could have joined. Oh, oh, this is enough. Oh, we got our windows back. Oh my god. <sighs> Everything's back to normal. Oh, I can't take the phone out. I wanted to check our phone real quick. Leave the house. Oh shit, I wanted to explore a little bit more. I thought I was just gonna open the door. Ever since the accident, Guilt has haunted me. So I built a labyrinth. Labyrinth? my way out. And there you have it. The windows are gone. I didn't know what to expect with that. But that was pretty damn good. I wonder what the other ending was. If we would have joined. Secrets found. Four or five. You got the good ending. Alright. I'll take it. Alright guys, there you have it. Until next time, see you then.